coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good Sunday morning. Well, yesterday was an unseasonably warm day, and in fact, it tied a record here in Terre Haute. The old record was 74 degrees, set back in 1918, so 104 years ago, and we tied that yesterday. Didn't get to break it, but it'll go down in the record books 2022, Will, with 1918. Kind of got spoiled with that warm weather. It's still going to be unseasonably warm today with a high in the upper 50s. Technically, our high was just after midnight when we were still in the 60s. But average for this time of year is 47. So we're still not doing too bad for this part of March. But we are going to cool back down closer to average. As we get into the start of the work week, we're going to see another round of some colder air work through the Wabash Valley. Temperatures will try to recover a little bit as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. But you can tell that cold front is working through the Wabash Valley right now. You can see temperatures are still in the 60s down to the southeast at 63 in Vincennes. 64 for Linton and Washington. That's the warmest part of the day. This cold air is going to continue to spill into the region. 54 in Newton, 56 in Terre Haute and Brazil. It's 49 in Rockville, 47 in Effingham, and 45 right now in Mattoon and Paris. That's all coming in on a westerly wind now that the front's gone through. Still, still sustained at 14 miles per hour in Effingham and Paris. Also 14 miles per hour in Terre Haute and 10 down in Vincennes. So we'll continue to see this cold air settle into the region. We'll try to recover our temperatures a little bit once we get into the afternoon, especially once we start to see some sunshine. The Storm Team 10 storm tracker is all quiet this morning. We still have some clouds out there. We're expecting those to break down a little bit as we go into the rest of the day. So as we look at our day planner, expecting that sunshine again, temperatures are going to continue to nosedive until around lunchtime, and then they'll try to climb back up a few degrees as we get into the afternoon into the upper 50s. It's going to be another breezy day, but you can see it kind of tries to settle down a little bit as we go into the evening. And you'll notice that rain icon by 9 o'clock tonight. We're going to be tracking the potential for some more rain showers. And in fact, we have a chance of some light showers farther to the southeast over the course of our Sunday. For most of us, we'll see the clouds trying to break down and the sun to come out. But you'll notice down here to the southeast from Vincennes to Washington up into the Shoals and Lagoda area, they'll, they'll be still seeing the chances for a few light rain showers working through down there. But for the rest of us, staying dry over the course of most of the day. But by 8 o'clock, the clouds are going to start to fill back in. And eventually, rain showers are going to overspread the area once again especially closer to midnight. Here's 11 o'clock and see some pockets of moderate to heavy rainfall and that really overspreads the area after midnight into early tomorrow morning. So don't be surprised to hear a few more rumbles of thunder, but really heavy rain is the main threat. We're going to look with this round as it goes through during the overnight hours. Still a few lingering showers tomorrow morning and I can't rule out a few snowflakes trying to mix in tomorrow morning, but I think predominantly it's going to be a rainfall event for us before the sky tries to clear out tomorrow evening. Now there is a marginal to slight risk for strong to severe storms farther to the south. The greatest threat south of the News 10 viewing area, but we'll keep an eye on that as we go into the overnight hours. But again, heavy rain is going to be the main concern for us, anywhere from 1 to 2 inches with locally higher amounts as this next system moves through during the overnight hours. But again, most of today is dry for most of the Wabash Valley. 59 degrees by the time we get to the afternoon with the sunshine trying to make an appearance. Still breezy with wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. Then for tonight, down to 40 degrees with those showers and thunderstorms. Remaining breezy with wind gusts as high as 25 miles per hour. And then as we get into tomorrow, 45 degrees. So a cooler day with a few lingering showers, especially in the morning. Still breezy, northwest wind at 25 miles per hour. So it's still going to remain breezy as we get into the start of next week. 47 on Tuesday, the sunshine returns. Back in the 50s, Wednesday and Thursday. Keeping an eye on Friday, that's going to be our next system. And it's going to be the chances of a few snowflakes mixing in with the rain and much colder next weekend.